But right now, I, 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 I think the blame's going the wrong direction here myself. So it needs to be Steven. Steven needs to be in the blame. I think, St- I think, yeah. yeah, I think, I think when you start to talk about when they, the, you know, they don't want to change. They Both don't want blame. Bill Belichick walking in here or Jim Harbaugh walking in here and saying, we need to do this differently personnel wise. I don't like the way we're doing this personnel wise. You know, I don't like this. I don't, they don't want that. They don't want that. It's easy for them now. Mike's not going to get in their way about personnel. Mike's not going to get in their way and say, oh, well, you know, like I want him to go in there and say, hey, we need to do something different here. He's not. He's not going to do it different. It's totally comfortable for the way that these guys operate now. It is. They don't have anybody questioning their personnel moves. They get to draft. They get to sign players, their own players. They don't do things that the guy in Philadelphia does or people who are fighting for their jobs. That's what this football team is. Yeah. They've handed it off from a guy who used to do crazy-ass things, and I was part of the crazy-ass things he did. Heck yeah, you were. You know, and it, you know what? You the crazy ass I almost said an S-word there. The <laughs> crazy-ass stuff will get you fired, you know? But he handed it off, and that's where we are now. That's where we are with this football team. They don't want to change because it's it's they could operate in the way that they're comfortable operating. You know, that's the whole yeah. that's the problem. And it ain't Jerry. Jerry's just stepping back. He's 81 years old, but he still has all the titles and stuff. But he ain't in there rolling up his sleeves, doing the nuts and bolts stuff. It's Stephen Jones doing this stuff. I can't find not one thing that Brian Brody said there on 105.3 The Fan that I disagree with. Jerry has long since stepped away from the controls of the Dallas Cowboys. And the iteration of the Cowboys we've been seeing essentially for the last decade is the Stephen Jones ran Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys that depend on their draft, they have way too much confidence in their draft. Some would say, especially since they've had a couple of draft classes in the past few years that have completely missed. And as we all know, they don't really go after true impactful free agent signings. They'll do some free agent signings like the Stephon Gilmore or the Brandon Cooks or make a trade for one of those types of guys, but they're not gonna go out their way and sign someone that's gonna be an immediate impact. This version of the Dallas Cowboys almost treats the team like a Major League Baseball team in which they only really want players that's out of their farm system or out of systems that they're familiar with, a la the Michigan Wolverines, which I really wish you guys would stop taking defensive players from the Michigan Wolverines. We now have drafted three players from Michigan in the last decade or so, and only one of those players are honestly panning out right now. Taco Charlton, Mozzie Smith, Jordan Lewis, Jordan Lewis is the only one that's trending upwards. Mozzie Smith, the jury's still out on him, and Taco, he ain't eating tacos in Texas no more. That's the damn show show. But this is a version of the Dallas Cowboys that's comfortable with the status quo. And this video has nothing to do with the players that are on the team necessarily, whereas we're more so talking about how this team is managed. Jerry and Stephen Jones have no one to answer to. Stephen Jones doesn't even answer to Jerry Jones anymore. Hell, if anything, Jerry answers to Stephen at this point in his life, especially since Jerry, man, he, he's hanging on by a thread trying to see that last Super Bowl. But now the Dallas Cowboys are being ran by the dad from Everybody Hates Chris. Stephen Jones at every turn is trying to find a way to get a discount, to find a player on a value deal. Make a big move. The teams that we've been seeing actually be successful, they haven't been just trading in and out of quarterbacks or anything, but what they have been doing is they have been doing everything in their power every year to complement their quarterbacks, to make them better outside of the Chiefs, even though you could argue that them getting a better defense did help Patrick Mahomes as we're seeing this year because it allowed him a little bit more grace, a little bit more breathing room not to be the perfect Patrick Mahomes, right? But every single team is building around their quarterback. Baltimore, people said Lamar couldn't throw. Let's go get him some more receivers. Let's get him a run game he can lean on. Let's tailor the offense to him so he can highlight the things that he does well versus trying to fit a square peg in a circular hole. The Detroit Lions, they just had an amazing draft class in which they have four 
four or five rookies contributing to a team that just made it to the NFC Championship and God knows how long. Hell, the San Francisco 49ers. We saw John Lynch go out and make midseason moves, bolstering his defensive line, adding meaningful pieces to that line. A Randy Gregory, a Chase Young. He's doing the things necessary to make sure that that team has weapons in place and that they're complementing what their quarterback is able to do. They're not asking Brock Purdy to play outside of him, so they're not asking Brock Purdy to carry the whole load. So what we've seen are the teams that are operating with a sense of urgency, the teams that are taking risks, taking chances by way of player acquisition and bringing in more players to build upon the foundation that they have already set. These teams are the successful teams. The teams ran by guys like Stephen Jones and Jerry Jones that are way too involved in player personnel and kind of getting in the way of how the actual structure of the organization runs. We see what this turns into. It turns into the Dallas Cowboys. It turns into teams like the Indianapolis Colts, another team where the owner was too messy. It turns into the former Washington Redskins, another team where the owner was too involved. You see a trend here. That format does not work on a professional level when it comes to team building. Maybe you can do this type of thing in college, but in the NFL, when you're dealing with grown men who have families to take care of, you have to make the main thing the main thing. And the Joneses have not made football the main thing in a long time. They are very concerned about the brand. They're very concerned about the salary cap. They're very concerned about the monetary aspect of the game, which they're businessmen. I don't blame them for that part, but I'm not gonna continue to buy a bill of goods in which y'all are telling us y'all are gonna do things differently. Y'all are gonna be aggressive. Y'all are gonna make the moves. And all history has shown us is that Stephen Jones is cheap. Stephen Jones doesn't like to take risks. Jerry is no longer in control. Fans need to stop bringing Jerry into this particular discussion because he no longer is a part of the discussion. Yes, Jerry is there, but he's more so of a figurehead now than anything. Think of Jerry as the Queen of England. He's just the face of the brand, but Stephen Jones, make no mistake about it, is 100% the man pulling the strings behind the scene. Like Brian Brada said, back when Jerry was in charge, we got guys like Greg Hardy being brought in. We want to draft dudes like Johnny Menzel and, and make crazy stuff happen. And he was almost too aggressive. He was just shooting from the hip with it because he believes more in his football knowledge than what he maybe should believe in. But the simple fact of the matter is until the Dallas Cowboys actually have a true structural organization that's fit for a football program on a professional level, we're more than likely going to see this type of dysfunction with this team. We're not going to see any true meaningful changes. We're going to see the status quo and they're going to go out and pick up some guys on value deals and make little moves here or there that don't necessarily move the needle, but it does just enough to give the fans something new to look at the next season. That's essentially the loop that we've been trapped into. And until someone like a Steven Jones or someone that's in charge of personnel has someone else that they have to answer to, there's really no pressure for them to do better. So why is it that we're expecting better every single year? We're placing the weight of the 30 years that we have not won in this franchise on the shoulders of the players, where we really should be putting more pressure on the shoulders of the general manager, the, 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 the owner because these are guys that are putting these teams together. These are the guys that year after year after year, they're the ones that have been here for 30 years. They're the ones that have failed for 30 years. Guys like Dak Prescott, they've been here for half a decade, seven, eight years. Demarcus Lawrence, seven, eight years, whatever it may be. They haven't been here for 30 years. Jerry and Steven have. So these are the dudes that all the frustration and flooding inboxes and comment sections and, and all the other stuff with negativity all of that should be directed at the top of the totem pole, which are the only people in this organization that have been here the entire time we've been failing. Either way, let me know what you think about this conversation down in the comments below. Brian Broaddus absolutely went off on Jerry and Stephen Jones, and I think that he's absolutely spot on on this one. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. You know how we have to end these videos now. We still same old cow. Calling me, texting me, paging me, asking me, am I still the ball? Y'all use the check on me. Listen, 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 listen. I'm still the boys. Hey! Hey! Woo! Hey! I'm still the boys.